Hello everybody. I just wanted to make a quick video real quick to illustrate, demonstrate how easy it is to get into a rear diff on the XRT, which is basically the same as the X-Max. I'm doing this video out of request for a few people right now. Bob Robinson, Kevin Moore, Scott H, Marcus W, and Alan Sims. Now I know Kevin and Alan has done this once before. They've been into this, but they just don't understand the shimming part. Uh, please forgive me, I've never done any type of instructional before. Again, I just wanted to show how easy this really is. Thankfully, I have, always keep a bunch of spare parts around for the XRT and the X-Max in particular. But uh, so here's uh, bottom bulkhead, of course your rear diff cover, and your upper bulkhead for the rear on the XRT. And you have two, uh, four bolts, five bolts actually, four long, one short, to pull off your main diff cover. And inside there, which I had a pre-built diff ready to go, you'll find your diff, which you normally keep greased on your ring, and your pinion gear. Now there's two ways that you can shim these. And my favorite, personal favorite, is to shim the pinion into the ring gear to take the slack out if you happen to have any slack. The easiest way to find out if you have slack in your differential between your ring and pinion gear is to just go ahead and take off your spur and pinion cover and then pull out your cus drive so everything will spin freely in your drivetrain. When you have no load or pressure, which your pinion and pinion and spur would be right here, your cush drive right in there. When you pull that off and your axle running through here, it takes all the tension off of your ring and pinion. That makes it easier to find the slack that you'll have in between these two gears. Now in this particular setup, there is minimal slack. <clears throat> but when it comes time to shim, use a shim, which you have four different thicknesses when you buy this particular setup, which I mentioned in a previous video. Just pull out your, your differential, go ahead and keep it together, and then when you use a pair of needle nose to pull out your ring gear here, out of your bearing, find the appropriate size shim, which I usually start from the smallest up to your thickest. Sometimes you can stack them, which I prefer not to stack them, if at all possible, and you put either one of those shims right over the spline there and you just put it right in there and of course it'll give you a little it'll push your pinion gear a little closer to your ring gear on your differential and when you have pressure on it you could feel exactly how well that works and how tight that will be and of course when it's time to put it all together take your little marine grease is what I like to use I buy some from Traxxas, that stuff's real expensive, or you can use this uh, marine wheel bearing grease, high temperature. It's good stuff too. As long as it's good marine grease, it's waterproof, repels the water, which most grease will anyhow. Then you just reverse the process. Obviously, when you take it apart on the X uh, XRT, you're going to be looking at that. Then you just put it all together and you're good to go. Step one. Okay. Now, to get to your diff cover, you have to remove, of course, your wing and your arm and the plate there to get to it, which really there's only six screws, which I use Loctite on everything, but I like to go in. Instead of taking everything off individually, one at a time. Keep it nice and simple. Now if you want to get scientific about it and you have access to a little digital micrometer, just grab you one of those 
You can measure the thickness between each one of these spacers so you know exactly how far you are going when you decide to, to shim your differential. One thing I did forget to mention is there are two ways to shim your differential. Again, please forgive me. I am not an instructor. I'm just trying to help out a few people who made a request. And I just want to demonstrate just how easy this really is. The second way to shim your differential, as I said the first time, my favorite way is to go ahead and go right here behind the pinion gear, between the pinion gear and the bearing. Once you figure out, just go starting from the smallest up to the thickest. And yes, you got to put it together each time and you can hear the, listen to the sound. And once I said before, take the tension off of your pinion and your ring gear and spin it and you will be able to determine the slack. This particular setup, there is no slack. I love that. And another way, what you're trying to do is just get your, your ring closer to your pinion gear. And the other way to do it is you take off your drive cup, slide that off, and then you just take, again, one of these shims, starting off from the smallest, put it against your bearing, and when you install it, there's a little lip right there. Make sure you get the shim on the inside of that lip when you slide it back in. Make sure it's good and tight, and always check to make sure you'll see that shim tucked in underneath. It's really that simple. Put her all back together. Charge you up some batteries and go out and see how well it does. I'm meticulous. I go a little bit at a time. I just don't shim a little bit or a whole lot at one time. I just go incremental until I find exactly what's going to work the best. Boy, I use a lot of Loctite. Now once you get those two screws undone, Let's go straight here. Now I know I'm going to have to replace this cover because this particular screw is messed up. tell this thing has been on and off many 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 times like I said I like to use Loctite once you do that that whole piece comes right off I have more cleaning to do and it's that simple I like to keep it simple there you go Joe Collins for Exocaged RC here's a little free advertisement The dude is a wealth of information. See him as often as he can. He does a live stream every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central Time. Now, once you get to this part, you'll be exactly at where we were at just a little while ago. You got two screws, two screws, and that screw right there. And then follow everything I just said previously. I know this ain't done very well. Again, I said I'm not an instructor. I'm just trying to help some people out. And I hope this does help. If it does, fantastic. If it don't, please let me know. But be nice about it if you would. And uh, hopefully I'll have all this together soon. And I'll be out there ripping. Probably be out there with the V2 next video. I hope this helped somebody. And I uh, hope it helped you, Bob, Kevin, Scott, Marcus, and Alan. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you soon.